hey folks, it's D-Lo, we'll be back, back, back at you again with another video. So this article came out uh, a couple of days ago. So Austria company reveals a humanoid robot. So, so the future has a wide form of a robot resembling a human will to take on any task and transform the way we work. So there's a video here, let me play this for y'all. In the future is here in Austin, a human-like robot ready to take on any task and transform how people work. Today, Amptronic unveils Apollo, the world's first commercial humanoid robot, and Blake Devine got a sneak peek. Blake, how does this launch represent a new chapter for the company, and I think for really all of us? Definitely, Sally and Tom. For the last seven years, the engineers at this lab in Austin have had their heads down out of the limelight and working in the lab hard to design this robot. And now they're ready to take off with their creation, which could alter the way we work and the way we live. We're excited to show the world what we're capable of building and the amazing work that's happening right here in Austin, Texas. Jeff Cardenas is one of the founders of Aptronic. He's a very unique design for a robot. A robotics business based in Austin. Why a humanoid robot? Wednesday, his team reveals a robot resembling a human. The goal with a robot like Apollo is to build one robot that can do thousands of different things. You can kind of think of it like the iPhone of robots. Apollo is a general purpose robot. Be shaped like a human because it can go anywhere we go. Meaning it can take on any task. As it gets more sophisticated and as we improve, it's a software update away from a new task or function. Working hand in hand with humans, Apollo can lift up to 55 pounds, which could make a major impact on the supply chain. Where he's gonna start today is working in warehouses helping to fill the big labor shortage that we have all across our supply chain. With the plan to expand and produce hundreds of these robots sometime soon, Cardena says the sky is the limit. Long term, we do hope to make robots like Apollo available to the masses, and the target is for it to be less than the price of a car. Long term, Apollo is set to be worked on the Type 2 version, which we'll see early next year. That one is going to be designed less in the lab and more designed to be outside and brought into the workforce. So lots of exciting things to look forward to from that company. If you're but Okay, y'all. Okay, you saw the video. Okay, towards the end, let's be real. Towards the end of that video, that, that robot walking like he's doing the one-two step. But other than that, I don't know how I fully feel about this. This right here kind of, um, I think this is, Basically, I don't, I don't know how, what, I, what I feel about the, how I feel about this whole robot thing that this uh, Austin company done with Bill and created. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it. I, and, I will, and I will put the link to this article in the description box. Uh, uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of video. Make sure you subscribe for more. And I'll see y'all next time. I'm out.